I was talking about one of my, it, it's, I don't want to say it's my favorite movie, but it's a, it's a classic for sure. You know what I'm saying? I've watched it many times, uh, and it's Dead Press. It's a, it's an oldie, but a goodie for sure. And the story goes, <clears throat> there's this guy that comes back from Vietnam. When he comes back, he's kind of struggling financially. So he gets together with some other people who are in the same financial struggle, and they come up with a plan to rob this armored truck. Now, in the movie, they blow up this armored truck, they blow up half the money, but they do get some money. And they, they, they were rich for a little bit, for a hot minute, you know what I'm saying? And so somebody was spending way too much. The feds or whoever was watching them, he got caught. He told on this person, they told on that person. Next thing you know, nobody got, nobody's rich anymore. Everybody got locked up, da 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 So that was a movie. This is real life. Here is a story that comes from Say Cheese TV. And two armored car robbers in Illinois got away with 1.1 million cash and an air tag that led the FBI to their front door. So that's got to suck, right? Like, oh my God, I just came up with this payday. I got 1.1 million dollars. I'm rich. You know what I'm saying? In your mind, you're already spending that cash. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to break my mom off of some. You know what I'm saying? In your mind, you're already spending it. You're rich for a hot second. And then all of a sudden, you get the knock on the door. Or maybe not a knock. You know how the feds be. Dum, 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 dum. And they're all over your house. And boom. And how did they catch you? There was an air tag inside the bag. So let me go ahead and get into the story real quick. And again, this is brought to you by Say Cheese TV. According to reports, around 9.25 a.m., two armored truck guards stopped to make a pickup from a bank. One of the guards used the bathroom while the other returned to the truck where he was pistol whipped and allegedly held up by Daryl Singleton, 19, at gunpoint. Devontae Davis, who was also armed, then joined them and they forced the guard onto the truck where they stole several plastic bins that each contained roughly $100,000 in cash. They also took 10 deposit bags containing approximately $50,000 each. An air tag was inside one of those bags. Law enforcement tracked the air tag to one of the suspect's homes after obtaining a search warrant. Police searched the premises and arrested Singleton and Davis, as well as recovered hundreds of thousands of dollars and two guns. Singleton admitted that he and Davis committed the armed robbery to detectives. Davis claimed he was at home the whole day and was not involved in the robbery. So, that sucks, right? They got greedy. They got greedy, man. If they just would have got the bins and left, yeah, yeah, one bin, two bins, each bin contained a hundred thousand dollars. But they said, nah, man, we're gonna get everything. We got the bags. And one of those bags contained an air tag. And boom, the feds got you. Went to your house, took the guns, took the money. Yeah, bro, it's not looking good for you, but that's gotta suck, man. Like you were rich for a hot second. For a hot second, you were rich. And in your mind, I know you was happy, like, man, I got away with this, right? But nah, they came quick. That air tag. Now, I know in the past, what was it that they put in? Like, if you robbed the bank or something, they would put, like, a die or something, and it would ruin the money instantly. And I think uh, maybe smoke or something. They, they had some smoke where it would, a bunch of smoke. It would, like, mess up the money, right? But now they're like, nah, you know, go ahead, take it. We got an air tag, and we're just going to go to your house and pick it back up. And imagine the, the jail time that these two men are facing. Now, mind you, he was 19 years old. But they don't say the age of the other person. But 19 years old, I'm assuming the other guy is probably similar age. Yeah, he's doing some time, man. Not only for the armed robbery, but for the guns. Pistol whipping the armed guard. Man, but you can always tell people, I was a millionaire. At least for a hot minute. For a short, short, short amount of time, you was living the good life. Or you thought you were. Anyways, moral of the story, don't do nothing. That you can't do the time for, man. You know, I'm sure the armed guard, he, mind you, he knows what he signed up for when he got the job. But still, that's got to be traumatic. Somebody comes, beats you up with a pistol, takes the the, the money, the whole nine. That's got to be traumatic to him. And these two people, you know what I'm saying? The one, they found the money. They found it in this house with the guns. The other guy said, nah, man, I was at home the whole time. I don't know what he's talking about. He's tripping. And there is a video footage of him. You can't really tell they were wearing hoodies. I'm not sure if they were wearing masks or not. And they're walking away with all this cash. So nowadays, you can't get away with anything like that. There's cameras every, everywhere.